Hey guys, Corey here with Co-op Couple. Welcome to part one of my RPG Maker VX Ace tutorial. I decided to make this series because there are many people who want to make video games, but uh, many of them do not have any sort of programming experience or art experience or anything like that. Now, RPG Maker programs have been around for a long time, and they've never required any coding, so they're perfect for making RPGs. So in this series, we'll be using the latest version of RPG Maker, which is uh, RPG Maker VX Ace, and it offers more flexibility than any of the other earlier versions. So in this particular video, I'll be going over some of the main features of the program. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so when you open up RPG Maker into a new project, this is what you're going to see by default. Uh, don't let this confuse you. Uh, we'll get into kind of uh, showing you everything as far as how to make a world, how to put events in it. Um, so the first thing I'd like to talk about with RPG Maker is it's completely event driven, meaning that instead of uh, putting in like actual codes, coding or anything like that, um, when you have a world map, you got uh, you have events that you can put in there, and uh, different properties or contents that you can add to the events. So we'll also get into all that. Uh, the second thing I'd like you to notice is it actually has a built-in script editor that's based off of the Ruby programming language. So it's a uh, fairly if you know what you're doing, it's fairly easy to add new scripts um, into the game to kind of uh, make it your own thing. And then uh, the what's new about this uh, particular version of RPG Maker is it actually came with a built-in character generator. Now the character generator, it's um, new to the RPG Maker programs as far as being built into them. Uh, you can basically change different features um, and have it basically random randomize a character and then kind of uh, export it from there and then use that in your game. Another thing that uh, this RPG Maker has as opposed to the let's say the RPG Maker VX uh, that particular program, it only allowed you to basically have one set of tile sets. And basically, tile sets are like the building blocks that you'd make your game out of um, as far as world creation. Uh, in this program, though, you can basically import your own tile sets and then kind of mix and match properties or mix and match pieces from each one. Like, say, for example, I have this new world and I want let's see part of the part of the inside tiles and then um maybe some outside ones and then you can basically just um use uh, use these different pieces to kind of make your own uh, custom tile set and of course you can import your own tile sets if you um, if you created your own at some points. Uh, the last thing I'd like to talk about as far as the features go of this uh, RPG Maker VX Ace is that you can actually sell your games that you make um, if you actually have a licensed version of this program. I think there's a trial version but if you have the uh, licensed version, which is available either on their website or on Steam, you can um, make games and then actually sell them if the content is your own or you have the rights to it. So, um, as I stated, RPG Maker VX Ace is a very uh, powerful RPG making program and it's perfect for making 2D games. So, uh, in this later in this series, I'm going to show you basically how to make a simple game. Um, I'm going to basically create the world and then have events linking up to uh, to everything. So definitely stay tuned to that. 
And uh, just uh, leave a like and subscribe if you like this series, and then um, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching.